What's up? So, welcome back to another rendition of Can I Drive My Fox on the Track and Run a Nine? I don't know. My guess is as good as yours. So, tonight, I am bringing the fox right there. Mm. And I can show my plate because guess what? Everything that's going to happen is legal. <laughs> So, bringing my fox to the track. Today is Wednesday, test and tune. Just got done working on the Miata, as you saw from my last video, which ended literally five minutes before I started filming this. So it's a little weird. I'm wearing the same thing because I'm filming the same day, so don't freak out. I actually do my laundry. Well, shout out to the wife, because my wife does my laundry most of the time when she's in town. She's the best. So. Taking the Fox, gonna meet up Andrew from Mustang Lifestyle. He is bringing the Bullet, which on the low, actually it might not be the low, by the time this is posted, he'll probably already have a video out. But if he doesn't, on the low, his car makes a decent bit more power than it did last time he brought it to the track. And I'm excited to see what it runs. So I'm gonna help him film because he doesn't really have anyone that can help him tonight. But I'm gonna get there a little bit before him and I'm gonna get some footage with the Fox. And throughout the night, I'm still gonna grab some footage with the Fox, maybe from him as well. So, hoping we can finally break that barrier. I've run five to six 10 twos, some of which back to back. Last time I was at the track, I ran two 10 twos and ten, two 10 threes. One of those 10 threes was letting out at like the thousand. I didn't shift to fourth and I just coasted and it still ran a 10 three. So, the only thing I'm going to try different tonight is something I've never tried in this car specifically, and I'm going to no lift shift. Now I do not have a watt box, so it could still be done. You just got to be careful. You got to be a freaking driving mofo. And I feel like I know my car well enough where I can do it. Now, obviously if I peg the limiter and I just continuously miss these gears, I'm not going to freaking keep trying and try to break something but I'm gonna give it my all and I'm gonna just go straight full send. So we're gonna see what she does. I know the mile an hour is there. I consistently trap either high 130s or low 140s and the fastest has been is 146. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get some ice, fill up the cooler and gonna pack the ice tank, gonna get some pretty cold IATs and just send it. Hopefully, hopefully it runs. So, so let's go. Let's see what this thing can do. Probably should have brought it up a little bit further. scripted you're supposed to say run a nine blooper cut cut i'm not gonna lie that was scripted and i had a feeling she was gonna mess it up 
just so I could say that was scripted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before this started, I, I gave brief instructions on what to say once I said a certain thing. Run a nine, get a nine. Is it really that different? You, it's a nine. I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> so we are headed to the track. Got the car in tow back there, along with a jug of five gallons of E85 because I am right at half a tank and a cooler for ice for my ice tank. So let's get her done. In the staging lanes, getting ready to go up to this uh, Getting ready to go up the track, a couple cars back. I'm strapped in, I'm hyped, I'm ready to go. Cycle, cycle the intercooler pump once. Start getting the cold water up there. That should be good. It takes a little bit for the cold water to get up to the intercooler, so. Normally I don't, I don't turn on the intercooler until I'm like maybe a car before I'm about to do my burnout. So, uh, I don't want it to sweat. Sometimes they freak out. They think I'm leaking something, but I'm not. All right, people loading up. Let's go. did not go as planned. I snapped the belt tensioner. As you can see, this is where the pulley should be. Luckily, the belt is still intact, but can you shine your light down there? I did hit the crank pulley, and uh, I'm a little concerned that that nick right there is gonna shred the belt. It is on the outside, so I, I think I might be fine, but I'm not 100% sure, so. I'm going to go get a new belt tensioner because I have to get one anyway and I'm going to take it off right now and what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and give it a shot. I might try and get a uh, file to see if maybe I can smooth out that crank pulley a little bit and go from there. So hopefully you guys like the video. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of destruction of my own stuff. Obviously, it's, it's 
kind of fun to watch when it happens to someone else. But uh, so for those of you who are wondering, this is the tensioner. Uh, you can see there where it just broke clean off. Um, I did order a new one off Amazon, so it should be here. For, should be here Friday, and I need it here Friday at the latest because I'm going to VMP's event and I'm driving my car there. So that'll uh, that'll fix that issue, and I'll put the plate on for Metco this time so it doesn't flex out, and uh, I'll I'll post a video of of what's involved in doing that. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Essentially, this plate from Metco bolts on top of this, and uh, under load it prevents it prevents the tensioner from walking out and it makes it, you know, forces it just to be in one linear direction. So I'm not huge yet, but when I am huge, I'm going to pick a winner for this off of the old motor setup. If I was Cletus big, you guys would be all over it, but I'm not for well, one day. So keep that in mind. I will put this in the stash of stuff that I'm going to give away. Um, anyway, uh, I did get to go see Andrew. I got to say hi to him. Um, he didn't really need me to film though, cause Lee was there. So luckily, uh, worked out for both of us cause I was kind of frustrated and I just want to get home. So it was kind of late now, um, being quiet cause my wife is upstairs to sleep and my dog is being weird over here licking the air. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, super appreciate all the support, everyone that subscribed. Um, Thank you again. Uh, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you haven't told your friends, tell your friends, tell your family, anyone that likes Mustang and car stuff. And uh, I will see you next time. Some cool stuff coming out. So stay tuned. Later. Bye.